was 1993. It was not 19. <laughs> Hi guys, this is take five. This is our fifth attempt at this video, but we're gonna get it done. My name is Rob. And I'm Angela. And we're gonna tell you today all about how we met. Okay. Why don't you tell? Why, Why don't, don't you? you? No, you start. Okay. From your perspective. Okay. So I was a. Actually, I probably should. rugged man. I probably we should start right because it, I kind of started out with me. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Okay. Um. What am I supposed to say? Whatever you want to say. What if I have nothing to say? Then why are we doing this video? <laughs> because it was your decision. No, 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 no. You're the one who made me take out the video phone and do this. It's and your decision. Try to set this up in a way that we can actually make it make sense. You're trying to make money. What? <laughs> From YouTube videos. Yeah, no, we're not trying to make any money. We're not going to make any money at all. No one's going to pay to see this. People are just going to shut this off the moment they watch this video. All right, so I'll begin. So we started doing ministry in separate worlds you know I grew up in a ministry family and I uh, my dad was a pastor in two different churches and uh, grew up doing ministry my whole life and uh, you know eventually I you know just made my faith my own when I got older and started to get burdened about um, abortion and the, what it is and started going out and doing ministry there and started doing those kind of things and uh, so I started going to abortion mill to offer women um, the gospel to preach the gospel to them and to to do that um and that's you know and so i just kind of started a young guy in my 20s just trying to figure out how to help trying to figure out how to be you know a light in that area and so yeah and i was just single and doing this for a little while and then eventually you know i had some friends who or praying for me that God would bring me a wife. And that's how Angela came in. I just popped in this thing. Yeah. Now that's not true. Yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly the truth. Okay, well from my perspective, um, what happened was uh one Saturday I felt burdened to go to the abortion mill um after tutoring. I wasn't planning on going that day because the, by the time I would end tutoring and get in there, it would be late and um, the clinic, the mill would be close to um, closing. So, anyways, I just still felt burdened to go and I'm like wrestling with the Lord in that and it's like, okay, I'm gonna go. Um, so, I went to the abortion mill and um, I saw that people were heading and uh, le were leaving, um, but there were a couple of people who um, were ministering that were standing by, and so I decided to just go over there and talk to them. And, and so I met um, a mutual friend of our, well, who's now a mutual friend of ours. Um, I was talking to them and telling them why I was there and just sharing um, my heart for abortion ministry and evangelism in general and so long story short she ended up um, connecting with me and asking me for my number yeah basically at that time I was dating this other girl and talking to her uh, that was that not well, that was you know just uh, not the girl for me and uh, they could see that and so they were trying to get me a girl that was more just in line with like my views and my you know my heart um, for this kind of a ministry. And so uh, yeah, so they were just kind of talking and saying, "Hey, you should really talk to this girl." And I was like, ah, "Okay, um, I guess, all right." So we went to a friend's birthday party and they ended up inviting her out, and I just ended up getting an opportunity to talk to her. And I asked for her number so I could hook her up with more ministry things and ministry things and I totally used that to start texting her and asking her questions and, and doing that um and so eventually we just started talking and I just started asking her to get lunch with me every other week and then one day we went for a long you know we went out to uh 
pizza restaurant, and then we went for a walk in the park, and I just started asking her about, you know, what she wanted to do with her life and what she felt God was calling her to do, and, you know, everything that I was ask, praying about and considering in a woman, she just had. She had a desire to, you know, do ministry with her family and very dedicated family, and I realized in that moment, like, okay, this is a girl I'm meant to marry. And so I professed my love for her that day. And I realized that this guy is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so then we went back to Starbucks. And I asked her, so what are you looking for in a man, uh, in a husband? And she gave me her list. And then she said to me, uh, so what are you looking for in a wife? And I said, I'm looking for a wife like you. And she said, you, sir, are very forward. <laughs> and and so that's kind of how it all started. And so then we just started courting. And, you and know, he's been following me ever since. And I've been following her around ever since. And so our relationship has had a lot of ups and downs um, since then, you know. But I always knew throughout our whole relationship that she was the one for me. And so a lot of areas I had to change. A lot of areas I think. And I had to pray a lot about. Yeah. If he was the one for me. Yeah, she didn't know till like October or yeah December of this last year so you know but I knew that day that she was the one for me so yeah that's how we met mm -hmm. and so now we're getting married and so now we're focusing ahead on that and looking forward to that and just praying about what God would have for us you know we uh, we definitely feel called to ministry definitely feel called to um, a more full-time view of ministry and to do things you know um, we're you know this country's on our heart, you know, Europe's on our heart, Africa's on our heart, and so these are things that we're just bringing before the Lord and praying about, you know, um, and just praying what God will do next with us, but just trusting Him through it and trusting in His promises and, and His, that He has a purpose for us, and so that's one thing that we're doing. And so, this begins our vlog series, so you can follow us on our journey as we go about, uh, mm -hmm. Being urbanites. Being urbanites, preaching the gospel. With ten kids. To, uh, ten kids. Ten? Ten? That's what you said. Lord willing, ten kids maybe one day. Who knows? And just so that way, you know, we can just kind of share our adventures and talk about things. And, you know, we have a weird life. I know that not a lot of people like us. And so just kind of have fun and just make videos and do it. All right. Do it. Good night. All right. All right. So that's it. Everybody. I'll see you later.